Hey guys, it's Scotty here from Scotty Make Stuff. Today we're going to be doing a tuning and troubleshooting video for your Pocket Micro fourth axis stabilizer. Now this is going to apply to the cased and the handle version, but in this demonstration we're going to be using a handle version. Okay, so we've taken this perfectly good, beautiful uh, silk cyan handle stabilizer and we have adjusted it left, right and center. So it's all out of whack. It's got all sorts of problems, creaks, clicks, and it doesn't go very well. So what we're going to first do is show you the clicking sound. And you can see here the culprit is this bolt at the bottom it's somehow come loose it's a it's a lock nut they call it a nylock so we need to use some pliers and then gradually tighten that up this bolt from the top so we use our tool that's in the bottom of our handle or or case whichever it may be we're going to tighten this up now we don't want to tighten it too much because remember you need to use, actually use this to adjust the spring tension no clicking, but we can still hear that um, creaking sound that we've added to it. So here's our creaking sound again. Now the reason for this creaking is where the loop or hook of the spring meets the, uh, meets the screw. And that can be sometimes the there can be a little bit of rough texture on there that actually causes the creaking sound. So first thing we can do is we can rotate it back and forth um, in our hands quickly um, for about 30 seconds to a minute. And gradually you might hear it going away. And you can hear here, hear here, that it's, you know, most of it's gone away. So about say 50%, but because we've abused this poor, poor thing, we, we need to take it to the next level and that's uh, using some lubrication on the spring itself. So I'm using just some Vaseline, uh, for the lip, lip gloss Vaseline on the spring itself. Now we need a, probably a match head or more of, the, uh, of some grease of some description. Um, the Vaseline works just fine. Now we're going to force that, push that down into the, the bottom of the hook and onto the um, thread. Now we need to work this grease in. And as you can hear, the sound's completely gone. Okay, and now we're going to tune the stabilizer using the eight screws to properly configure them so that the stabilizer will run as smoothly as possible. Now the top screw there is the adjuster screw. For the purposes of this ex uh, example, we're going to treat it just like the other screws. But of course it's, it's designed to be adjustable, unlike the other screws which should stay in the same position. And here we have the last four on the other side. Now to start we'll be adjusting the handle end screws first and we'll go to the bottom wider screws at first. Now you can see here we've got an example of where the bolt should be. So that red section is a cross section of the bolt. Coming out at the end it should meet dead along the surface there. Whereas as you can see on the right hand side, one bolt is actually protruding in, so that's definitely not right. And the other bolt is actually protruding out, so it's not in far enough. So we're going to adjust the right side bolt, so we're going to loosen it, so that we can, we can just see it disappear if we're looking at it from the side on position. And there it is. Now on the other side, we're going to do the opposite and actually screw it in. Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, 
So where this is righty tighty, and we'll start to see the head of the bolt coming through. And that's probably a fraction too far. We're going to turn it back, and now that's it. First two bolts are done. Congratulations. Now we're going to go to the uh, top narrower screws. Now you can see um, this one is all the way over to one side, so that's definitely not right. It should be centered in the middle. Now, what we first need to do to start this is to loosen the left hand side screw before we then tighten the right hand side screw. And we'll show you how to do this now. As you see it tightening, you'll see the other screw coming in. Now we need to make sure that there's at least 0.5 to 1 millimeter of sideways play in this in these screws. And as you can see, that's perfect. The reason why we need the play is so that the high quality steel bearings can run as smoothly as possible. And now we're going to go to the mount end and it firstly adjusts the top two wide screws. Now this first screw is obviously protruding too far, so we need to loosen it so that it sits flush, almost there, that's good. And now on the right hand side here we've got the uh, adjustable damping screw. Now obviously, as I said before, this uh, is designed to be adjustable, So, but for the purposes of this we're just going to adjust it until it's flush, so we're going to loosen it slightly. And that's it. Now to the bottom narrow screws. If it's centered like this, that's a good thing. But in this case, there's no play, no sideways play. So in this case, we need to actually loosen both sides equally. Firstly to the left. Now back to the right. Now let's check for play. You can see there's a bit of movement there, which is good. That's all we need. And that's fantastic. Well, congratulations, everyone. Well done. Well, thanks, everyone, for coming this far. If you enjoyed it, please like. Or if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And uh, we'll see you next time. See ya. See ya.